Cheryl, there's no closure for the families of Inging Jung and her killer, Brent Christensen. Two years of emotional torture, according to both families. Tonight, the I-Team in 2020, uncovering new details in the investigation. If for some dumb reason the jury found him not guilty, juries do the weirdest things, I would have tried to have him committed because you can't have somebody that can do something like this out in society. You can't. But could he be treated? I think so. The father of Brent Christensen tells ABC's Bob Woodruff something must have snapped that day in June 2017 when his son kidnapped and killed 26-year-old Ng Ng Jung. Christensen was convicted this summer and is currently serving a life sentence with no chance for parole. Originally, the elder Christensen said he thought his son was innocent. Well, I wasn't privy to a lot of the information that was out there initially. Uh, I knew there was a good possibility. Many of the things that he did, I've done in my life. I've got on websites and researched things that people would say, why on earth would you do it? To learn about it? That's what I do. Mr. Christensen also said he believes his son was exaggerating during this secretly recorded conversation with his then girlfriend. I choked her for, for 10 minutes. Tara conducted seven in-person recordings with us, as well as two additional that were over the phone. It's 646 on Thursday, June 29th. We're at the benefit. And so there was definitely, as those recordings went, an increase in the amount of information. I believe he hit her with a baseball bat, raped her, doubted he even said he didn't, uh, but also choked her for 10 minutes. Now, one-handed, his bad arm, 10 minutes, and she's still alive. Does that make sense to you, sir? Somebody that strong and somebody that little choking for 10 minutes, that doesn't make any sense to me either. That does not jive with the evidence. He was embellishing. The I-Team has learned Christensen's legal defense team agrees and also believes the killer was lying when he said Ng Ng was his 13th victim. Federal investigators have not ruled it out. Unfortunately, there are many people uh, who are missing in this country. So th the answer is we have no evidence that he has 12 other victims, um, but um, given what he did in the case, it's certainly a, it's certainly a possibility. <laughs> you can feel the pain. A mother still grieving the murder of her beloved daughter, her body never found. The family still hoping to someday bring her home. Post-trial, it was revealed Christensen told his attorneys he put Ng Ng's remains in three separate garbage bags and placed them in a dumpster outside his Champagne apartment. Based on that information, authorities say her remains could be scattered in nearby landfills. After learning this information, Ng Ng's father said through a translator, If Ng Ng's remains are ever found, we will return to take her home to China where she belongs. Christensen's attorneys say they shared this information early on, hoping for a plea deal. But prosecutors say any deal was contingent on Ng Ng's remains being found. He did not believe that she would ever be recovered. Um, and uh, as he said on the tape, she's gone. She's gone forever. She'll never be found. Coming up tomorrow night at 8 p.m., ABC7 reporter Eric Hong and I help recount the details of the two-year investigation and trial. It's a two-hour 2020 event, Undercover Girlfriend. 2020's team traveled to China to see where Ng Ng had spent most of her life. They were also with the family during an emotional moment when they visited Ng Ng's apartment near the U of I campus. It has been a devastating two years for them. Much of this plays out tomorrow night right here in prime time. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.